Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen from Krista's Beauty, also known in the pinup community, especially around Richmond, Virginia, as the first ever Miss Pinup RVA. Bonnie Delovely. In this video, I have this pin curl look for you that I set with hot rollers. And before we get into the video, please, if you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to be updated when I upload new videos. Today marks the first day of February and every February, since it is my birthday as well as the month of love, I like to do a little giveaway. And with our giveaway, I'm going to give away two hot roller sets. First is this one we have here. And second is this one I have right here. And both are in very good quality, very good condition. I just like to do something sort of every February to kind of go through, see which pin up things or just beauty things I'm not using in general and give it to someone who will get some good use out of these products. So without getting too much into that blabbing, let's jump into this tutorial. So to get started, I am brushing through my hair. I'm using second day hair just because clean hair won't hold the curl of the hot rollers, at least for me, not too well. And I'm just gonna section that top from the bottom and secure that then with a clip. I am then dividing that bottom section and splitting that in half horizontally and taking a duckbill clip and securing that top portion out of the way. I then grab my heat styling and heat protectant spray. This one is by Kenra. I like this one because I do get a good sort of hold out of this without getting that crunchy feel. And I'm just gonna spray each section, divide that bottom part in half and roll with a hot roller in each one and let that set. And the way I put the rollers in is typically how you would do any roller, whether cold, hot, whatever. Start from the tips all the way to the end, that way you don't get a fish hook, and just roll it all the way up to the base there. And then I'm just going to repeat those steps going all throughout the head, continuing to roll in that back area, then moving to the sides, and then rolling on top there. And I will let everything set. Once my whole head is curled and set in those hot rollers, I let that set a moment while I do my makeup, anywhere between like 30 to 45 minutes to really let that curl set in. And once I'm done with my makeup and that is set for a good while and cooled down to retain that curl, I go through each roller and take out each section one by one. And at this point, I try my best not to break up that curl yet because I'll do that once everything is out. And I like to get my sections together and tease mainly at that root area just to give us some lift and some volume throughout.
once everything is teased and kind of big how I like it, I will go through with a smoothing brush of some sort and kind of smooth that top layer so you don't see any of that tease and just kind of mold the hairstyle and just get it as bouncy and voluminous as you want with it. And once everything is laying about how you like it, you can go through and spray. I like to spray that top bang area and that teased area with some hairspray. Sometimes I'll go through the ends and spray it with a little texture spray. That way it's nothing too heavy or anything. But again, that is all up to preference on how you like to style and leave your hair once it's brushed out. So that is how I like to use hot rollers and style my hair in, again, a very pin-up-y way. And with these rollers being a little smaller, I can get a little tighter of a curl to give me more of that vintage flair. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. And please, please, please enter to win the contest. And I'll see you on the next one.